In this video, we'll be talking about the concept of Philadelphia chromosome. So Philadelphia chromosome is associated with chronic myelogenous leukemia, one type of uh, cancer of white blood cells. So basically, it's an example of chromosomal translocation. So what is that? Chromosomal translocation is a chromosomal abnormality when one segment of the chromosome breaks off and become exchanged with another segment of the chromosome. And this is happening between two non-homologous chromosomes leading to a new chromosome where the segments are swapped. This is known as translocation. Philadelphia chromosome is example of one uh, translocation uh, event. So in this case, the translocation happens between chromosome number 9 and chromosome number 22. So basically, chromosome number 9 has the ABL gene and the BCR gene is present on the chromosome number 22. And the segment would be exchanged between these such that the ABL gene would be now translocated and forming a BCR ABL fusion gene. Now the BCR gene is highly active. That is why normally ABL lead to production of the ABL kinase. It's a kinase that regulates cell cycle, cell division and cell proliferation. But in the BCR ABL fusion construct, there are too much of ABL kinase production. This is much more than the normal level. And that lead to over proliferation and uncontrolled proliferation of the white blood cells or the leukocytes. That leads to chronic myeloid leuke myelogenous leukemia. So basically, since it's a blood cancer and it's a problem with the maturation of white blood cell, let us understand the biology in a bit more detail. So blood cells are born from hematopoietic stem cells. Eventually, it forms the leukocyte, that means the white blood cells. But in this particular situation, when the translocation happens, it leads to production of immature leukocytes uh, in comparison with the normal situation where mature leukocytes are produced. So it, they, these leukocytes are stuck in an immature state. So the key culprit here is basically the ABL kinase and this is known as the Philadelphia chromosome. So leukocyte maturation defect is the take home message. So overall there are myeloid and lymphoid progenitors which are the subderivative of the hem hematopoietic stem cells. The myeloid progenitor give rise to RBC, platelet, monocytes, granulocytes, etc. Lymphoid progenitor give rise to T and B cells. So now the myeloid progenitor give rise to uh, the white blood cells in sequential manner. So basically it lead to formation of myeloblast, then immature basophils, neutrophil, eosinophil. Eventually that matures and gets released into the blood. But in this particular case, due to the Philadelphia chromosome, where too much of ABL kinase is produced, that lead to the proliferation and division of these immature cells. And at the end of the day, in the blood, there are too many of these immature leukocytes compared to the natural one. So it lead to a crowding effect. It takes away the nutrient that is required for other blood cells to thrive. So there is cytopenia, anemia, that means reduced RBC, thrombopenia, that means reduced platelet, and leukopenia, that means reduced leukocytes. And this is the prime cause of the cancer. So chronic myelogenous leukemia, just to give you a quick idea, it's a late onset disease. The median age is 64 years. Clinical symptom might include weight loss, abdominal fullness due to uh, hyperspleenomegaly, fatigue, etc. So many patients are also asymptomatic, later on detected in peripheral blood smear. Coming to that, peripheral blood smear is basically the key diagnosis where these immature cells and their number could be microscopically determined. That's how it was actually discovered. Anyway, uh, there could be other diagnoses given the fact that BCR and ABL form a fusion gene. They come close together. The uh, intersection between these two region can actually be PCR amplified. In normal scenario, they should not be close together. So when the patient is normal, there should be no band like you see in the lens number three. But if the patient has this kind of like BCR ABL close together, then there could be a band seen just like one, two and four. So this is a PCR based diagnosis method. Anyway, uh, BCR ABL produce too much of uh, ABL kinase 
and that is the culprit of uh, uncontrolled proliferation so this is the biology behind it once scientists understand the biology they can formulate some treatment here the main treatment is using a tyrosine kinase inhibitor such as imatinib which re uh, which inhibits the abl kinase and reduce the uh, proliferation rate and this is how it is treated so in this video we understood what is philadelphia chromosome and what is the biology associated with it stay tuned and see you in the next video